Now what we want to do next is um, in a fume hood you want to measure out 2.8 milliliters of this NN dimethyl aniline using a 10 milliliter uh, graduated, cylind uh, graduated cylinder as I've done here and you want to wash that. Uh, you want Here's the information for dimethyl aniline. It's supposed to be a clear liquid a colorless liquid, but there's some um, impurities in here that give this kind of light color, okay? Um, here's its formula weight, okay? It's melting point, and the density is not on this bottle here, okay? So the procedure tells us to um, pour this into the 400 milliliter beaker now. And then we'll rinse the dimethyl aniline with two milliliters of acetic acid. Just to make sure we get it all in there. As you can see, the color is beginning to change a uh, deep kind of a reddish orange there and uh, the procedure now says to stir this uh, at room temperature 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes so I'm gonna take this out of the ice bath now keep in mind that there are still ice cubes in the reaction mixture that are rattling around in there but we want to just let this stir for about uh, 20 minutes at least so I'm just gonna turn the camera off here there's not gonna to be too much to look at other than this orange suspension here which is what our methyl orange is okay so I'm just gonna let that stir until the ice cubes melt um, like I said probably about 20 to 30 minutes okay we finished uh, stirring this for quite a while and you can see how it's a dark red color Remember that methyl orange is uh, kind of orange and uh, yellow in, in a basic solution and it's red in, in an acidic solution because of all the hydrochloric acid and acetic acid that we've added to this, it's under an acidic condition right now. So in part three here, up, we still wanna continue part three. We wanna add 10% uh, sodium hydroxide to this and check the pH of the aqueous phase and add additional NaOH. Um, solution as necessary until it is basic. So we'll grab some red litmus paper here and we'll test it periodically. And it's pretty hard to see because um, it's so dark when you blot the litmus paper, it actually turns red. But I'll do my best here to analyze that. It's hard to tell, but um, it's uh, red there. Anyways, you can't see it on the video. Um, so we'll go ahead and add this slowly with uh, stirring. Sometimes the stir bar doesn't work too well at this stage, so. It's very thick like paint. Um, it's unfortunate you can't experience this in person here. Once the sodium hydroxide is added, where it mixes, um, it's a yellow, but after stirring it, it changes back to a red. So we need to keep adding this until it's orange, and we'll test the pH here periodically. Once we get to that point, unreacted NN dimethylamine that might be present in the reaction makes this smell utterly horrid. So it's turning an orange color in there.
kind of see it starting to change there on the bottom of that beaker. On the top, it's still got that film of red color. Looks like it's still red. Definitely not blue. button up my lab coat. This is a very good dye that permanently stains things. I should have dressed more appropriately for today's lab. So when I blot the litmus paper, there's a very orange spot, of course, from the methyl orange, but do you see how the water bleeds into the paper by absorption? You know, like a paper towel gets wetted and around the ring is blue. So that's basic. And so we're done with um, step three, okay?